Chapter 5, The Personal Mouse Ralph's life in the cage was never the same after the arrival of the hamster. Chum was picky about his food and fussy about his housekeeping. One corner of his cage had to be his bathroom. Another, his sleeping quarters. A third, the storehouse for the food he liked. He was forever pushing, shoving, and stomping his cedar shavings. His exercise wheel rasped and creaked whenever he ran, usually while Ralph was trying to nap. He had a particularly irritating way of gnawing noisily at the bars of his cage. Why do you do that? asked Ralph. You can't chew through metal. I'm not trying to chew through the bars, said Chum. I'm wearing down my teeth. Ralph was astounded. Don't you want teeth? he asked, thinking how dependent he was upon his own sharp teeth. If I don't chew something hard, my teeth will grow so long I won't be able to eat, Chum explained impatiently. I chew the bars because Lana is too stupid to give me anything hard to chew. Oh, said Ralph, grateful that his teeth did not continue to grow. Chum had another habit that disturbed Ralph. He nipped at Lana whenever she tried to pick him up. That's not nice, said Ralph one day, when he had seen Lana hastily withdraw her hand from her pet's cage. That's biting the hand that feeds you. I have some rights, said Chum, if I let Lana pick me up. I never would have any peace. Believe me, I know. I made the mistake of letting her pick me up just once. Then when she tried to stuff me into a doll's sweater, I knew once was enough. Chum also sat for long periods of time, swinging gently on his wheel and staring with unblinking eyes at nothing at all. Why do you sit there like that? asked Ralph, who liked to be busy when he was awake. I'm thinking, answered Chum. Thinking about what? Ralph wanted to know. I'm a philosopher, said Chum. I think about life. Life? Ralph was puzzled. What do you mean? Chum sat staring into space so long that Ralph thought he was never going to answer. Finally, the hamster said, Take you, for instance. Just where do you think you're going on that wheel? No place, I guess, admitted Ralph. I never thought much about it. See what I mean, said Chum. You run and you run and you're still in the same old cage. Ralph felt suddenly guilty, as if he had done something wrong, but was not sure what it was. But I like running on my wheel, he said feeling that his answer was rather lame. Chum did not bother to reply. He continued to sit, swinging, staring, thinking. Ralph leapt to his wheel and began to run. His paws flew along the wires of the wheel, pushing it faster and faster until he looped the loop. 
He ran on and on until he began to tire. His paws touched the wires more and more slowly until Ralph coasted to a stop. Then he too sat staring and motionless. Where was he going? No place that was where he was going. No place at all. With so many people feeding him, he was not even sure who owned him. Perhaps when the camp closed at the end of summer, he would be turned out to the mercy of Katso and all those kittens. <laughs>